What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome to another video. I'm sorry it's been a few days or it's been longer than that. It's been like a week or two weeks even since the last video. So my apologies for that. But today we are back with a video and it is a sports photography video for you sports photography fans. Don't worry about that. So we're up in the office. It's going to be on the last few videos that you guys see filmed in here because in the next few days, I'm going to officially be trying to move all this stuff out of here. All this stuff you see behind me, hence why there's like piles of stuff over here and over here. Such a mess of stuff, if I'm being honest with you. Going to try and get this all cleared out of here so that I can turn this into the third bedroom and fully set up the new office downstairs. I haven't forgotten about the next instalment of my new office video. That is coming. Do not worry. But today, I thought I would talk about taking photos of stadiums or arenas. Because most of the time when you go shoot a big event, you want to try and get some kind of photo of like the arena or the venue that you're photographing in. I've got some really cool photos of, of mine that have done of those, and actually some which I really like. Um, I quite like my Wembley one, for example, and I'm going to put a couple of examples of those into the video right now so you know the types of photos I'm talking about. Let's put those in for you right now. So there you go, you get the type of photos I'm talking about. Now I photographed a big basketball event on the weekend just gone, where I took some photos like this and I filmed some bits for you guys. I thought it would be great to show you how we can take some of these photos and we're gonna try it using three different approaches. Number one is that we're just gonna try and take a wide angle photo. Number two is that we're gonna take a series of probably three different photos, then stitch them together afterwards like a panoramic photo. And the third option, I thought it'd be something cool for you guys. I'm just going to try and use the panoramic mode on my mobile. You know, like when you kind of take a photo, you almost film and then it turns it into a panoramic photo. I've used that before when I was in a pinch and it worked. So I thought we could try that as well to see if it comes out all right. Those are the three different types of stadium photos that we are going to take. Now, before we get into the content of that, don't forget to go check out my social media channels, guys. These types of photos and loads of my other photos I'm always posting online. You want to check out my Instagram pages. My main one for this is going to be at Rob Sample Sport. If you want to see loads of other photos of this event that I did, you want to go check out at Scorchers Photog. Um, I'm putting these on the screen as we go, of course. And I also have my at Rob Sample's photo. You can also use at Rob Sample's photo to check me out on Twitter. Make sure you do that. I always post stuff over on there, some behind the scenes stuff, and it's the best place to stay up to date with like what type of things I'm doing um, and questions about my videos, stuff like that. So make sure you go check those out, guys. If you enjoy the video and you like the channel, please do hit that like button, hit the thumbs up. It helps me out so much on the channel. It helps to promote the channel. It helps for the video to be shared more. Really, really helpful. You know, I'm not going to try and get some fancy reason why to do it. Please do it because it helps me out loads on the channel and I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Loads more videos like this. Loads of videos still to come on my channel. So please do think about subscribing if you're into your photography. Right, enough of sitting around in the office. We need to jump to past Rob, who's over there at the event at the stadium, ready to go. He's been sat over there for like four or five days waiting for me to hand over to him. So without further ado, let's hand over to past Rob. Let's go. Thank you, future Rob. That was a great intro. I'm going to be subscribing and liking the video because it was so good. I'm sure everyone else is going to do exactly the same thing. So guys, welcome to the Copper Box Arena in London, the empty Copper Box Arena in London, prior to an event which I'm photographing today. Um, I'm having to shoot this on my phone because I've got minimal gear with me today, so I apologise for the quality of the video. It isn't the best, I know. So I'm about to take a full arena shot of this arena right here. Um, and I'm going to be doing it in a couple of different ways. First of all, I'm going to do it the first way I mentioned in the intro there, um, where I'm just going to do a real wide angle shot and get as much of it in as I possibly can. My second version is gonna be where I take three different photos and I will stitch them together afterwards. And then lastly, um, just to see how it comes out, we're gonna use the panoramic version on my mobile to see how it looks. So gonna do all three of those now. First of all, let's take the wide angle um, photo of the whole arena, let's have a look.
there you go, so you can see what I mean, that looks pretty cool. Now we're going to try something a bit more dramatic, which is the, the three different shots stitched together, because it kind of gives it that sort of curved, almost like fisheye look. Um, so let's give that a go now, I'm going to put that in the video right here. And last, but certainly not least, I'm going to try the mobile panoramics. Let's see how that one comes out. Something easy that anyone can do. Um, I'm sorry about the lights keep flashing off the face, guys. They're like that. They're testing the lights down here, so that's what that's about. Um, so we're going to try the, uh, the mobile panoramic photo right now to see how that one comes out. Let's give that one a go. So there we go, you can see what I mean. Three different photos, three slightly different looks, but they all look really good. Um, the other key thing to say is the positioning of where I've taken those photos from. Um, I've taken it from this side of the court, mainly because the logos all face this way. That's quite an important thing to think about. You've got to think about your background as well. So the other side of the court from where I am, over here there's lots of colored seats whereas if i was on that side of the court we would have these black seats in the background and also the logos would face the wrong way so the angle that you take the picture from is really important and something to think about you also don't have to take it straight on i'm going to in a minute i'm going to walk around i'm going to take some photos from the end and from the corner um, so i'm going to put those in, in fact i'll put those in for you right now so you can have a look So there we go, you can get some interesting stuff from trying some different angles as well. And of course, last but not least, this is an empty arena. We can get some awesome photos when it's full as well. So later on today, I will be coming back up here when the arena is completely full and I'll be taking some photos of it then as well. I'm gonna put that photo, all those photos into the video right now. And then you guys will be jumping back to future Rob, who's gonna be back in the office doing some kind of a, uh, a conclusion for you guys. And there you have it guys, I hope you found that interesting. You can see how we can take some of the same photos in three different ways to give yourself a real cool different perspective, right? At the end of the video, I'm gonna put all three back to back um, and I'll number them one, two and three. Let me know which one you prefer of the three photos, it'll be interesting to see. Um, I've got my own personal choice, but I won't say it just yet. What I'll probably do is after the video has been up for a while and people have commented, I'll add my own personal favorite into the pinned comments so you can see. It'll be interesting to see how it compares with your own choices as well It'll be really good to see if you did enjoy the video please do like i said earlier hit that thumbs up and hit the like subscribe if you haven't already thank you very much for watching and i'm going to see you guys real soon on the next video see you later